Welcome to a new video about JavaScript. Today, the focus is in the debug tool of this programming language that is aimed in the web browser. So, we are going to see how to debug step by step the execution of a JavaScript algorithm. Let's see how to do that. Basically, we have one web application in our web browser. And then, the debug tool is in the developer console. You have to press F12 and then you open this console here. Right. And we have a tab that gives us the access to the source files of this application. And then here we have an application composed by one HTML file and by a JavaScript file. So, here is the code of the HTML part we are seeing here, which imports the JavaScript file that is here. Right. So, let's see what it does. When it opens, it basically will calculate the roots of this second degree function and will print the output here. This is basically what it does and it has printed here because it's executed automatically when the application loads. Right. But let's suppose we want to track that. We want that before the function Vascular being executed, we would like to add a breakpoint. How to add a breakpoint? So here it shows the, the lines. You can right click over a line you want to break your code and click in add breakpoint. So we have one breakpoint before the function, we could add a breakpoint after the function and we could also enter inside the function even it being in an external file and say I would like here inside see the value of the delta just after it's been calculated. Now the breakpoint is already set. It already works in the next execution of this function. But in this code the function is executed just when the page loads. It's so because the code is executed here directly in the body of the HTML page. So we have to refresh the page to have a new execution. We are doing that now. Okay, do you see? The execution of the code has been blocked by the debugger. And here we can track variable A, value 5, variable B, value 7, and variable C. Hmm, it's still not executed, so it's undefined. Then we could say, okay, go over this step and now variable C has been assigned. Everything's fine. We could then say, now just go on. Follow the next instructions until find a next breakpoint. Clicking here in resume the script. Now look, it has stopped again automatically here in the scope of the function. So look how interesting it is. We have here above the functions inside the call of the vascular function and here we have functions that are available outside so now delta was calculated with value of 9 x1 and x2 is still undefined so one is calculated another is calculated and then i can say now go on until the next breakpoint and here it is you can see we have read the result here but nothing was printed here in the console because, because the functions that print still was not executed. So you could use all these controls available in the debug tool as any other programming language and you could then go step by step, see now just the first variable is printed, then now the second one is already printed and now the whole code is being executed and we can follow with the code execution. So here it is, you see how easy it is to use the debug tool of the JavaScript programming language for web browser. It's not complicated to use and it's nice because you can use the same tool independently of your front-end framework or programming language. Once you have your code in the web browser of the user, you can track and debug that. Thank you for watching and see you next time.